While the first 10 minutes of Minecraft Legends on average were amazing, the first hour was rather boring. The game went from great to disappointing relatively quickly. And not just for me, but a lot of people as well who even ended up refunding their game early on. I'll explain why this is, but first let me start from the beginning. After the introduction into the game's mechanics, you're let into the overworld, where the game actually takes place. Our first task in the game is to protect a village from an ongoing piglin attack. So it's finally time to put what we've learned to the test. I gather resources to prepare myself, rush to the conflict zone and fight off the piglins. Nice! Victory! The piglins are mounting an attack on another village! But before we really get time to pat ourselves on the shoulders, there's another village facing an imminent threat. Okay, well of course we go there, that's what we're here for. This time, we ready some defenses and successfully fend off the piglin waves for two minutes. But then comes the part that kills the whole pace of the game. Three piglin outposts pop up. So naturally we have to clean those up too. The first one is interesting, because it's the first one. You're finally up against the enemy right on their territory. But the second one, and the third one... Most of the time, you're just standing there watching your army dismantle structure by structure while doing nothing. Sometimes literally nothing. The player cannot attack buildings and you can't build on netherrack, so you're stuck there, feeling completely useless. And that's a weird feeling for an action strategy game. It gets really boring. By the time you have to go to a new fourth piglin outpost, the game starts feeling incredibly shallow. Is this it? Do you just control 20 units to send to structures while you hold the attack button? I'm pretty sure a lot of people stopped then and there and gave up on Minecraft Legends. And in all honesty, I can get why. Minecraft Legends has horrible pacing. Racing games are the most notorious for handing you fast and exciting cars right in the beginning. They give you a first glimpse of what's to come, whether in Forza, Need for Speed or Test Drive Unlimited. They all start with a bang, only to eventually take that experience away from you again. While you now have to deal with slow cars, at least you know exactly what to look forward to. Other game genres aren't strangers to this concept either. Grand Theft Auto V reels you in with a dramatic first action scene. Anno 800 impresses you with what your future city could end up looking like and Amnesia The Dark Descent foreshadows the horrors you're going to encounter later on. And they all have one thing in common. They all inspire. And while not every great game has to start like this, it's pretty clear that Minecraft Legends was trying to do something similar with its first Pikmin base. But instead of leaving you with an awe-inspiring impression, the game bores you with so many mundane spaced out tasks for no particular reason. And it's not like the campaign was just a little side mode to preview what multiplayer PvP and other modes are like. No, Minecraft Legends is fully voiced in 16 different languages and includes another 10 subtitled languages. Hello! Hola! Bonjour! They really wanted people to like and play this game. I tried visualizing and breaking down the first hour of the game to see what's going on. From the very beginning all the way until you're done with the first piglin base. I also added a line showing how much I was actually enjoying it. It looks a little dramatic, but let's briefly go through it. The beginning is filled with joy due to its shiny cutscenes and the great tutorial area. 
In such little time I learned so much about the game's mechanics and its story. Everything about it kept me entertained and longing for more. Then the overworld was presented to me. Village 1 confronts me with the piglins for the first time. Village 2 introduces defensive structures and how to use them against piglin attacks. The wave ends up dragging on with little happening, so we have our first little drop. Then the three outposts. The order can vary, but outpost 1 had walls, so it taught me how to break through them. Cool. Outpost 2 taught me that nether spreaders exist. Okay. Outpost 3. There's buildings that shoot arrows at you. Interesting. By the time the two new units were introduced, I had lost half my interest in the game. While in hindsight I now know how useful they are, at that moment they both just looked like slight variations of the cobblestone golems. Unimpressed, I continued with Outpost 4, where the banner view gets introduced. It's supposed to help you send off separate types of units to make smarter decisions. Looking back at the game footage, it seems like using it confused me more than it helped me. This is also my lowest point. The game was feeling shallow and it was trying to teach me a new mechanic that didn't feel useful with its current depth. It was only at the first piglin base that my enjoyment rose again. Suddenly I had so many different units to choose from and things to do. Instead of standing around I was busy commanding them to attack different structures, all while slowly pushing forward. Felt a little chaotic, but I was really liking this. The action was back and I missed it. Afterwards, Minecraft Legends really starts. Usually games have this scene where you see the game's logo indicating that everything before was just an introduction. That scene is here, but there's no logo. So I added it just for fun. That's how it should be. Instead of continuing playing, I stopped. The excitement completely wore off and after an hour of gameplay, I had enough for the day. Believe it or not, I did eventually end up finishing the game. And I have to say, it's not that bad. Sure, there are many, many, many frustrating moments along the way. And sometimes it feels like Minecraft Legends actively doesn't want you to like it. But buried in there, I believe is an actually fun game full of potential. Potential that it sadly doesn't make a lot of use of. But as Minecraft Legends is still a young game, I have faith that the developers have a lot of exciting stuff planned for the future. And honestly, cleaning up the campaign would be a great way to start. If this was my first impression of the core gameplay mechanics, and I hadn't had as much patience as I did, like many others, I would have loved to refund Minecraft Legends. I do understand that the pace in the beginning is a little calmer due to new lessons being taught, but what kind of crowd was playtesting this for them to come to the conclusion that this is acceptable? To begin with, why were there even two villages? Couldn't the same lessons be made from a single one? You arrive at the village, kill all piglins, place a carpentry to repair the buildings, everyone's happy. But instead of forcing you to go to the next village, you're told to prepare defenses against an imminent attack like the second village. You'd still be doing the exact same things while learning the same amount of lessons. And the same goes for the three piglin outposts. Instead of wasting the player's time, vaguely hoping they understand what the buildings do, just have a single outpost. And for each building, just use animated pop-ups, for example. The only downside to this approach is that you wander around the world a little less and don't have access to the second village. But neither do you have access to these villages. And it's not like it matters either, 
the only incentive you get from villages are free resources and a fast travel. For a game that wants you to explore with a lot of freedom, Minecraft Legends consistently shoots itself in the foot. You can gather resources. Oh yeah, but you can also get them from the chest. You can explore a procedurally generated world. Oh yeah, but uh, you can also just teleport. You can do that, yeah. And for a game that also wants you to be doing certain tasks and using specific features, it's really vague about what, how and when you can do things. One such major example is cleaning nether wreck. Yes, you can actually do that. It sounds completely pointless as the game doesn't really incentivize you to do anything with it, but it means you can build structures inside piglin bases, therefore adding a whole new layer of gameplay to Minecraft Legends. The game isn't just about sending cute creatures to their deaths anymore, but also about building structures to assist their adorable deaths. I actually enjoyed the game sometimes, would you believe that? And sure, it's, it's not perfect either. But it already gives the game an additional dimension that many players missed out on. One more push and the portal will fall. While I'm aware that a lot of details are explained in the journal, I don't understand why the developers didn't put a greater emphasis on incorporating this knowledge into the learning process. What's the purpose of the narrators if they don't properly guide you to the most fundamental features of the game? Villages could in turn be used to introduce such concepts. While exploring the world, you find a village center covered in netherrack from a piglin outpost for example, and your task is to clean it up in order to build things again. And that way, by letting the player explore the world for purposeful locations, you're rewarding curiosity with a useful new possibility. And that is just an example. We're currently left with a half-finished campaign and a dying player base. I do however really hope that Mojang Studios and Blackbird Interactive do end up improving Minecraft Legends. While I was frustrated a lot, I do look back on my time with the game in a positive light. It's incredibly charming and has a lot to offer, but currently it seems to severely lack any sense of direction on what it wants to be and for who it wants to be, none better reflected than in its first hour. Until then, they really need to sort the game out, but at least the foundation is already here. And I do truly believe that Minecraft Legends could be a great game someday. Thanks for watching and feel free to subscribe if you liked the video.